Good evening, everybody. Something's a full two since part 26 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time left dog, we're still in this uh, Queen's Blood tournament as we beat uh, Meryl M and um, Chadley. And my goodness, man, playing against Chadley and Queen's Blood in the tournament specifically was a huge train wreck. And now in today's episode, we're going to continue on with the uh, Queen's Blood starting the final round. Well, the first part of the final round, but you don't understand once we uh, beat this chick coming up. And I'm gonna tell you right now, man, this this possibility, and don't be surprised that, um, just like with the, the previous part, this, this is gonna be the majority of Queen, this is gonna be the majority of this episode of me play, playing, playing, uh, Queen's Blood against the, uh, chick coming up in our secret opponent, afterwards. <sighs> oh boy, that's, that's a whole mouthful. Without further ado, yeah, might as well just jump in the act in case, um, this video comes out an hour long. Yeah, we don't want to install the uh, intro for like a for like a few minutes or so. All right. So we got to follow this chick up here, right? Oh, okay. There's a a air of Tifa and a bear chair for us. But we're we at 13. Well, remember he they 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 say he wasn't allowed in the um on the boat. All right, so we gotta play against this chick right here as our final opponent. Well, the first part of the uh final round. So you're the one to beat. The one to lose to. Yeah, with Gina. Queen of Cards and reigning champion. Until now. Aw, that's cute. Word of warning. I'm not just gonna beat you. I'm gonna destroy you. We'll see this is pretty that. catchy though, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone always says stuff like that. We'll see indeed. Alright, challenge to a match, yes. If we must. Alright. I'll keep the card that it is right now. Oh that catchy music is still playing. Nice. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Why not? At least try to make it interesting. Oh yeah, and also I'm gonna share a little sad fact in case I forget to mention this. Even though I'm pretty sure everybody heard about this by now because it happened on that uh, because it happened on uh, September 9th. Well, uh, or yeah, September 9th is when it happened, but uh. But, but legendary actor by the name of uh, James Earl Jones, who's known for um, voicing Mufasa on The Lion King and voicing Darth Vader on the Star Wars series, he has passed away at the age of 93. And my goodness, man, it was it was it was a shocker, right? But he will be remembered. So may the force be with him. So. Do you want me to crush you now, or toy with you first? Alright. Regina outdoes herself with every hand! It's oh, I think I'm about to fuck this up. Oh, hold on. I can get rid of her, uh... Bring it. Her, her, uh... Her, what, what, what do you call it? As he maintains a solid advantage. I'm gonna say a spot, but, uh... I would say... Like, I don't know what... I don't know what it's called anymore. God damn it, because there's no label on it. Alright. But anyway, um James O. Jones will be remembered and made a force be and made a force be with him. And sadly enough, he's not the only guy that passed away recently. The voice actress for uh Sailor Jupiter. Yeah, the Japanese version for Sailor Moon, she also passed away. So and the uh, voice actor for the virtual splinter on Ninja Turtles also passed off. away. Like this is crazy. I think I might lose this. No holding back. Cloud is cool and composed. Yeah, I think I might lose this one. Let's hope you can keep up. 
Victory is all but assured for Regina and Team right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Yup, they fucking trolled me. At least I lose by one point, cause I've been really, really pissed off. Ah, <sighs> of course. They always try to fake your ass out, man. Like they make you think you're gonna win. They're gonna make you think you're gonna win, but nope. Nope, not, not necessary. You fucking lost. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. And I was in a good lead too. Then boom. Try to make it interesting. Alright. Like I've been saying, it's, it's all it's all based on luck based. Yeah, I forgot the uh, the original voice actor for Splinter's name anyway. But like I said, he passed away in um so, in the in the Japanese voice actor for Sailor Jupiter on Sailor Moon. Regina, well they didn't say how neither one of them died. Your mind. Right, who, who's making the right choice, man? Cause I don't want to be here all fucking night. Oh, if I remember correctly, um, after I after I beat Regina, they're not gonna give me opportunity to save. Right, I capture her little her little respect. Or she might capture mine. Oh wow, yep she did. Let's hope you can keep up. Okay. No holding back. Finally, a challenge. What a play by Regina. She's oh, that might fuck me over. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's okay. like the wolf for victory. I might got the, I may have the advantage. No problem. Oh, I might destroy that card. Yeah, let's place that there and destroy that card. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. We might got this. You're mine. That's the way. No holding back. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf. Alright, let's end this match. See how well we did. Alright, better not fuck me again. Uh oh, 20. Oh, we shut her out. Whew. Okay, that didn't take long as I thought. But, once again, folks, we're not done, and you understand why, but at least, I was able to beat Regina a little quicker than anticipated. No, there's no way I lost. Can you believe it, folks? Crowd is our winner. It's the upset of the century. The crowd is going wild. They ain't going that wild to me. Ladies and gentlemen, after that heated battle, we are finally ready to crown the winner of tonight's tournament. I present to you. Not so fast, good captain. Uh oh. I get to show my hand. That silicon gave it away. So yeah, folks. How you doing the moonwalk? I forgot he did that. <laughs> what is he, James Brown? <laughs> so, yeah. So we gotta do it, Red 13. He's our true final opponent. What a twist! At the 11th hour, a bold new challenger has taken 
Yeah, just when they announced the winner, Red 13 comes out of nowhere. And, and fun fact, he also just got himself as a soldier on the OG version of Final Fantasy 7. Which I didn't remember. Yeah, I only knew about that uh, when I watched on Missy doing a live stream of it. Seriously? That's my reaction. The illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. Impressed? No. Don't let prior knowledge blind you. Clear your mind and take another look. Who knew Red Thirteen got some moves? <laughs> Enough talk. I've issued you a challenge, Cloud. Face me if you dare. Yeah, hard pass. I've had enough cards for one night. Yeah, same here. You got this, Red. Oh yeah. Well, damn, Tifa. You bang as me? I was like that, huh? Not thought we were friends. Or more than friends. <laughs> No, I was just making a song that's all two reference. Eight minutes final defeat. <laughs> all right then. Let's play. Oh, hello. Not gonna lie, I love how he just—I love how he just threw that card <laughs> like he's in Yu-Gi-Oh or something. All right, I'll keep—I keep the cards right now. It seems to be giving good luck. Take up the gauge. Down, boy. Yeah, down, boy. Down. See how long it's just, see how long it's just gonna take me. There's more where that came from. Oh, shoot. Bring it. Wait, can I uh, capture his? Uh... Oh, good, I can capture that. Oh, wait, well, he might capture mine too if I'm not careful. Oh, he destroyed one of my cards, so. Oh boy. That might screw me up. You're mine. Don't pull this off. Alright. Oh. No holding back. It comes as no surprise that I have the upper hand. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just going with the flow. Bring it. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close. Battle. I can't really tell who's gonna I win this match. I got this. No problem. Okay, maybe this will do. No holding back. That's the way. Yeah, I can't destroy none of his uh, cards. Your mind. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. I love it. I got this. No problem. Bring it. All right, th this might help me. That's the way. Oh, that's that's gonna oh that's that's gonna kill my card. So that's out of the question. No holding back. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. I love it. I got this. No problem. You're mine. Alright. That's the way. Okay. Moment of truth. Uh oh! That's eight. Okay. Whew.
Okay, you kind of gave me quite a scary game, because I thought Red 13 was going to kick my ass somehow. <laughs> but it would be nice, if I, it would be nice if, if I was able to shut him out like I did with uh, Regina a moment ago. Alright. How exhilarating. I may have lost, but that was a good match. So we increased the uh, Red 13's uh, affection. Like I give a shit. So good by watching others play. Hey, wow, it's funny how I beat my first try. The rules and the <laughs> strategies. But the other ones, nope. Oh, at least we got the. Uh, all right, I'll tell you right now. Yes, we so we finished the um. I as he said, we finally finished the uh, the Queen's Blood uh, tournament. <laughs> yeah, look at that golden trophy. Oh yeah, and there's a toy for that also, which I already did off screen when, on my other file. Our Queen's Blood tournament draws to a when, I, when I first played it. Thank you again to our amazing But yeah, um, so we we, we got the uh, so Queen's memorable. Blood we got the Queen's Blood tournament done in like in like 16 minutes. Now that's good. I love progress. Is both peaceful and relaxing. That was a blast. Yeah, it was. Didn't expect to see you. I couldn't bear to pass up the chance. Well, lucky for us that you did. Hell, look how Red 13 walks. So, what now? We are yeah, he's literally walking like a dog because he is a dog. He's right here, so relaxing. Alright, just go, I'll catch up. Welcome. If you're looking for cards, we've got you covered. Okay, I thought it would be in stock. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go to our room and uh, get some shut eye. Alright, what, what can we buy? Okay, see, so, um. You know what? We might as well. I'm not gonna equip it. But yeah, I was trying to say, folks, that, um, that, oh my goodness, man, I honestly thought that we was going to be in that Queen's Blood shit throughout the entire video. Like we did in the previous video. But I'm actually glad that we got this out of the way, man. Oh, oh, well, uh, we may have to deal with Queen's Blood again in a later chapter. Or, wait, I think it's, I think it's later on doing this chapter specifically. Okay, that's where you gotta take a rest. But I see what, uh, Aerith and Tifa is up. Oh! Okay, it's a good thing when it's moving first because it's a chest we can, um, we can open. And that gave us the, um, the Solaris. Okay, we can't really talk to Aerith, but can we talk to Tifa? Yep, no we can't. I tell you what, before we um, take a rest, let's do let's do a little sum of exploring. I guess where we came from. No, this is no, this is where we came from. Okay. Okay, this took us to the uh, second floor. Wait. Sorry, sir. Only ship's crew allowed in here. And that's gonna take us outside. See, so yeah, like I like I mentioned, take us to the second floor. And we're like on the third floor. But yeah, some of you guys may ask me, okay, how do you find out about uh, James Earl Jones' death? Well. Uh, I was actually walking outside when I when I heard about his death when I got I got through a notification on my phone from the uh, the news app. Yup. Breaking news: James Earl Jones died at the age of 93. I'm like, oh shit. Now I was gonna link it to the game of Dutch, but BSL already beat me to the punch. Okay. Alright, let's go take a rest. 
I tell you what, once I uh, initiate the, uh, our next cutscene, I'm gonna look up the uh, voice actor for Master Splinter because I forgot the boy's name. Okay, there's Red 13, but where the hell is Barrett? Oh, he's over there. It's just chilling. Alright, let's go take a rest. Pretty tired. Rest of the night? Yep, might as well. Alright. Let me hurry up and look up the uh, voice actor for Master Splinter, because I, like I said, I forgot his name. All right, Facebook. You might hear that little chance. Somebody message me on uh, Facebook Messenger. Attention, all passengers. We have an emergency on board. Oh boy. Okay, Peter Renanday. That's his name. That's the guy that died recently. Military, huh? Guess that's us. I had to put my phone down because I'm about to get into gameplay. Alright, so apparently, um... Something's happening on the deck. The ship may be under attack and we, and we may have to investigate. But it's up to Cloud to check it out since he's, um... Uh, an ex-soldier. Alright. So what did the thing say again? I heard it's the deck. March time emergency. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize the uh, cussing head trick when I hit the uh, touchpad. I kind of figured it did because I did saw the camera move just when I hit the, hit the touchpad. Like, they could have just given me a fucking second or something before I hit the uh, touchpad. Like, goddamn. Yeah, it's all those people running, man, because where it is, it ain't looking too good. Oh, there you are. Over here, quickly. The whole ship is crawling with beams. Yup, we're under attack. Please, you have to help. Copy. And there's we're Cloud, on. I mean, there's a Tifa Air from Red 13. The but there's a lot of ground to cover. You, give me a hand. Lead the way. Thanks. Oh, that infamous music from Final Fantasy VII, the OG version. He was also playing uh, remake. Oh wait, is this the part we have to um, select a specific um, party member to join, or or is that till later? Cause this this might be the one I'm thinking about. All right, so now we gotta go outside and fight those so-called fiends. Oh yeah, so this is where the art is. Art, blah, blah. God damn, if I can talk correctly. But anyway, um, this is where the uh, Queen's Blood Torment had taken place at. Okay, well we're good. Stowaways. All oh, those motherfuckers. Bring it. All right. So now we gotta take on these enemies. All right, we'll scan them. Allow me. What be against lightning? Okay. Oh, new enemies, right? Yup, new enemies. Scan them. I got your number. Okay, didn't we didn't that weak to anything? Okay, we're in a fun fact the other day, yes, I did see the uh the whole um the PlayStation um showcase. Well it's not really a showcase, but it's more of a demonstration or whatnot. Long story short, they revealed the uh, the PS5 Pro and um I'll tell you right now, man, it don't look too good on Sony's part. 
due to a uh, mixed reaction because of because the um cost of the uh, console PS5 Pro it cost seven hundred dollars or seven hundred eighty dollars because the reason why I said that because well you may be asking okay um does the PS5 Pro play um physical games uh, yes it does but here's the catch you got you got buy it separately as in that you got buy the um you got buy the uh the the disc drive separately for eighty dollars and oh my god man the internet is carrying a shitstorm over it and I, I really don't freaking blame them man because that shit right there is so fucking stupid but then again then again I kind of see where they're going with this we can handle this I can't see where they're going with this because um like don't be surprised when the PlayStation 6 comes out um all the game is gonna be digital only. All right, so uh, Red 13 and Aerith um, got things covered out there. Huh? I mean, we can sit there and watch all you want, just for um, shits and giggles, I guess. It's not like you're timing anything. Let's see, is anyone gonna is anyone gonna die though? No, it's just no, it's just keep, it, look, it's just gonna keep going on forever. All right, but yeah, you gotta buy the uh, the disc drive uh, separately. I won't be at full health, cause I can be piggy like that. Yep, and the, and the disc drive costs eighty dollars, and the console itself is seven hundred. And I've been reading the comments about the PS5 Pro, and uh, as I said, the comments on there. Ain't looking too good. Now we gotta save those old, save those sailors. This ends here. It's like I'm getting a little rusty at this. Cause I've been playing okay. other games lately, and uh, speaking yeah. of which, but those fiends, they got below deck. All right, we gotta go below the deck. But anyway, um, been playing other games recently because, um, like recently. I finally beat the two ending balls of uh, Sonic Superstars, and my god, man. The two final balls in Sonic Superstars was nerve wracking. Because it's a 10 minute boss fight. And uh, the two final balls is pretty much a ring counter. It's kind of hard to explain how the two final balls went down, but he was fucking hard! Like Dark Souls hard. Especially that that uh, that quick time event shit doing phase three of the uh, dragon fight, like good lord. God, those things are everywhere. Where's Tito? Don't know. He said Tito. something about getting more firepower, then took off. Let me heal up, cause why not? But yeah, like I said, I, I beat the um the two ending um two boss fight on uh, Sonic Superstars the Dragon and Super Sonic and it took, yeah, it took me like multiple tries on that same night uh oh, oh I see it Tifa oh it's those things again it's like the drain of life forces or something at all oh my god well, we got some new enemies to deal with the um the, the necrotic and tit all right what did we against okay they stopped hitting me i can uh, scan them all right did we to, did, did we to, to nothing i almost said that we did anything well technically yes but when I say we did anything, we did physical attacks and and every magic, but yeah, I know that sounds confusing, but but then that did not really be to anything. Just got a lot of physical stuff or magic or whatever. But this we gotta do to beat these guys. Attack them if you want, or if you have to. 
Take the lead. Let me handle it. Alright, let me uh Hey, that dog scratch in his uh, cage. Oh! I thought he cut him in half, but his body was still intact. That kind of threw me off a bit. Those guys aren't being targeted at random. I gotta get done recording this, so I'm gonna fix me a hamburger. So my brother's going shopping tomorrow. The Shinra 8's currently en route to Costa del Sol. Unidentified fiends have surrounded and boarded our vessel. A small contingent of troopers is engaging the creatures as we speak. And... And hello, Hojo, everyone's most hated character. The fiends have merged... Okay, while that cutscene is going, let me look up, uh, Cell Jupiter's, uh, voice actress, because I forgot her name also. Hmm. I contacted public security, but they said... Oh, I didn't know Jacket Chan voiced, uh, Splinter hmm. on another Teen Mission Turtle show. Alright, so Peter Rende died on September 8th, and he was born on July, July uh, 9th, 1935. No Alright, so you can voice actress. Okay, uh, Amy Shunohara. That's the chick who passed away recently with Voice Cell Jupiter. And she died on the same day when, um, Peter Renanday died. And James Earl Jones died on, um, September 9th. They all come in threes, right? In the words of Jan Soprano, another toothpick. And in return, you will have pride of place in my lab. However, do mark your body to aid in identification. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta help bear it out. Come on. Catch a fiend. Oh my god, I read that as uh, to catch a friend. I swear, every time I hear a uh, fiend, or I think there's one call from of, of a rug rat, when they, whenever they call Mr. Friend, Mr. Fiend. Hey, oh, he's not in his cell outfit no more. In his footsteps. But yeah, I kind of love how they made it seem like uh, Tommy Pickles mispronounced a friend as a Mr. Fiend, but once you really think about it, knowing that damn episode. He is not wrong about uh, naming Mr. Friend Mr. Fiend. Because that motherfucker did give me a creep back in the day. Oh, I thought that was a chest. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, I think about to fight a major boss. A major boss is coming up. Alright. Oh, you're gonna turn into those things again. Oh, the, um... Okay, the, uh, what's we call it? The Dimonic Entity from, from Remake. So let me, uh, scan him. Alright, he, right, he's with the Blizzard. I believe Tifa has Blizzard. Don't overdo it. At least staggered him. It's like we took him out in one shot. That's right, kill you. You are dead. Aw oh, man, they need they need to um uh, put that on the PS5. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I almost missed that. The uh, Kaiser Knuckles. No, we ain't talking about Kaiser Sigma. <laughs> Mega Man X3. Alright, if I click that on Tifa, what's that, what's that gonna do? Let's see. Oh, okay, uh, it'll increase her attack power, but it's gonna decrease her HP or magic attack. You know what? Eh, why not? And we'll set, we'll set her materia.
Oh shoot! Oh, only Chloe has has a uh, old cast material. Alright, I guess I'll give her the uh, HP uh, up material. Alright, magic attack's going back up. And uh, ma max HP, 200 plus. Well, I guess that was worth it. Hopefully, we made the right choice. Oh boy. Okay, where we go now? I think we're going the right direction. Oh yeah, we are because uh, there's an enemy. You see that enemy, you follow it. Oh, more battles. Okay, more of these fuckers. Oh yes, got done uploading the, uh, the first part of the uh, Super Mario RPG plays when they get industrials. <laughs> and part two will be um be up at five in the morning. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys will know about that by the time the video gets uploaded. And we're gonna make some apple juice today. And got some uh Halloween oil cookies. Yes, I know it's not Halloween yet, and I don't give a shit. If I see some Halloween cookies, I'll get some Halloween cookies now. You can't go to jail for you can't even go to jail for buying Halloween cookies on uh, on in September now. Hmm. All right. Let's see what's in that chest. Got a mega potion. I could use one of those. Okay. At least we're seeing a lot of action in today's uh, episode so far. Because as I mentioned, man, I really thought we were gonna be in that Queen's Blood shit for for a very long time, like in previous video. Okay, I remember none of this shit happened in Titanic. I was just kidding. Okay, new enemy, the Shrieker. I don't know why. I don't know why the hell they gave me these uh the, the Red Dead vibes a little bit, judging by the name. Too bad. They did not retain anything. Deal with that. I got this. Bring it. No holding back. I got this motherfucker. And stagger him. Okay, barrel's over. Oh yeah, we still gotta catch up with Barrett. Now I'm probably not gonna find every single um weapons for all the characters. Cause I don't know all the locations there. And besides, I never did say I was going to 100% this game anyway. My well, mind said I was going to, I was going to aim percent because if I was going to 100% this game, then that's going to require me to, uh, to go, to go on hard mode at some point. <laughs> and I ain't doing that shit. Cause I'm pretty sure I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in part one that, um, that when you beat the main story, you unlock hard mode. But even. Even though, um, if you want, if you want to unlock hard mode right away, you might also switch to the same thing to dynamic mode. All right, what can we get? Oh, some ethers. Oh, we only got 14 ethers. We got 15 now. Things down. We barely use things down. Oh, we're gonna use a lot of things down later on. Especially doing that one side quest. All right. Good. I want to pick these potions anyway. We need a lot of cushions. Okay. Again, catchy music. All right, let's go in this um uh, door right here. Be ready for anything. Okay. Yeah, this, this, yeah, this chat right here is pretty fun, I'll admit. Really? Really? You saw the title of that, uh, that mission, right? 
Hey, I'll show it again because you guys miss it. Look at this. Poor unfortunate souls. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess somebody's been watching to me a uh, Little Mermaid. <laughs> but that's a good ass song, by the way. Been liking it since I was young. We play that. We play that scene over and over and over. Well, she's a main antagonist after all. I mean, most main antagonists got some decent ass uh, songs, like Me and Green Mother from Outer Space from Little Shop of Horrors, some by Andre Till. Today he still has a voice actor for it. But no more. Not on my ship. Wait, that motherfucker betrayed us. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was the one that hosted the fucking uh, Queen's Blood Tournament. That's what I say. I had to, for the sake of my passengers and crew. Okay, I'm confused. Why? Why he betrayed us? But, uh, there's already a Final Fantasy VII reunion. Oh, wait, that major boss I was talking about is coming up right now. Now I remember this. They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you. Into the very depths of your soul. Oh yeah, flat pass from remake. Those you hate. Those you fear. Those you love. Oh, you may see a little square they button on the uh, lower left side of the screen. Genova. Yep, Genova. Oh, hello. See, so you remember Genova from remake, right? Alright, at least they kept that part original because you did fight Genova in the uh, OG version in the, um, in the cruise. I got you know. Alright, we, alright, it ain't we to anything. Oh boy. What the fuck is that chasing me? Oh, I'm poisoned. Fuck. I just the Tifa. Okay, about to uh, put some pressure on it. Oh, it's playing the uh, infamous uh, Genova theme. Alright, uh, I need to use Cure. Well, I'm muted, fuck! Okay, this is, this version is not that it's not that bad, but I prefer the one in remake better though. I know I sound biased about it, but I feel you see. Alright, so it's called Genova Emergent. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, this this Nova creature definitely give me some Castlevania vibe. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I selected Barrel, right? So why is the items uh, glowing? Huh. That's right, give him hell. See, this is Super Mario RPG remake that told us to give him heck. I recently passed that part on part two. Oh, he do got weakness. 
Okay, you, you, you told me you didn't have a weakness. That thing lied to me. Oh, I equip his head. Alright, let me select Tifa and build up her, uh... Boy, about to stagger the motherfucker. Oh, good, that motherfucker was smart. I'm about to, uh, stagger him and he, he like, move. I will give him the final limit, but, um... We're gonna casually beat, uh, Genova Ember Gents. Alright, we have 46 minutes on the timer. On the... On my video time. Time to be Pacific, folks. Time to be Pacific. This ends here. Now, I admit, this boss fight is pretty fun so far. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, it's going to this next phase. Probably a bunch of times, Barrett. Don't panic. We can kill it. Now we're in the final phase of this, uh, Nova Emergent. Oh, Tentacle! Oh my goodness, so we find that that one boss of a Scour Sword HD, Tentalus! But then again, he kinda did that attack in, um, in Remake. Really ain't fucking around. Right, I'm trying to go for the head. And where's the Thanos? Alright, we cook the head. Let's go for the left shoulder. Okay, we staggered him. Or her. Alright, I finish off with the um with the uh cross lash. This then will finish him off. Or finish her off. Cloud, don't let her fool you. Don't let who fool me? I don't let anybody fool me. Help. Tell that to Knuckles. <laughs> yeah, oh, I did finish that uh, series uh, not too long ago. Knuckles on Paramount Plus. Yeah, I heard that show got some mixed reactions. Good evening, everyone. This is your captain speaking. I'm happy to announce that the earlier disturbance has been resolved. All passengers are once again free to move about the vessel as they please. We will be arriving as scheduled at Costa del Sol in the morning. On behalf of the entire Shinra 8 crew, we wish you Summertime. Well, unfortunately, we summer is, is pretty much over. In the sun. Ah, sad face. Alright, are, are we going to the next chapter or, um, or is it still chapter 5? But I know we're going to, uh, Castle of Soul from the OG version. Oh, okay, we did beat Chapter 5. Okay. The Fool's Paradise. Uh, 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 uh. Dun, 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 we living in Fool's Paradise. God damn it, this is on my toe, bitch. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. I swear, I hear Fool's Paradise, I think of Gangsta's Paradise. <laughs> so yeah, we just finished Chapter 5, and now, now we're going to start on Chapter 6, and it costs a lot of soul. Thank you. I got you if it does the, uh, the Hulu. And when you talk about that streaming, um... That streaming site or streaming channel. I mean, it could be called a streaming site if you go on the computer and watch on there. Come on, let's get out of here. Should probably wait for them. She looks nice in Costa of the Soul. What you talk about, Barrett? Seeing couldn't hurt, could it? I mean, 
Come on, we're in Costa del Sol, people. Costa del Sol. <laughs> So we could find some shade first. I'm about to melt. Could save you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang loose. Hang loose. Greetings and welcome to Costa del Sol. I'm Capono. I mayor, mayor here. Capono. Okay. Here you are. Perfect. A gift to get Welcome. you in the mood. Welcome. Thanks. After all, there's nothing like a good Welcome. lay to kickstart your getaway. <laughs> I as this cussing goes off, we're going to um we're going to call an episode and I'm about to cook me a hamburger. So wait you with only the bluest skies and earthly delights on all sides. <laughs> so forget your dead end 9 to 5. Oh, I remember that build in the OG version. All the way to sunrise. Man, that shit looks so nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, they even show, they even show a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on the uh, PS4, PS5 Pro for blah, PS5 for Pro's um, showcase thing. That's my teeth is missing. That's why with the speech, uh, that's why my speech was fucking up at times. I saw that. Don't go thinking I didn't. You two said it with your eyes. <laughs> oh, come on, Simulator has been updated. Oh, she know what that means. Fancy act. Is he can we do that right now? Oh, I don't think we can um do the combat simulator right now until uh, we make some progress in the um. In the castle of the soul. Oh man, I forgot I was talking about because I keep on boosting my speed. God damn it. Shit. That's why I was gonna keep losing your train of thought, you see? <laughs> but yeah. Well, I will say it'll, it'll come back to me, but it's not gonna come back to me until I end the episode. Because I'm most likely going to rewatch the video and just to, check what, to, just, just to check what I was talking about, you see? <laughs> but yeah. Oh, summon city of Alexander. Alright. So that being said, oh, oh, you can see their, um, their little, uh, flower necklace in the, uh, Paul screen. <laughs> That's a, that's a nice detail. Oh yeah, I was saying something about the uh, about the uh, PS5 Pro. See, I knew it would come back to me. I knew it. Anyway, I was, I was, I was trying to say is that uh, they did show the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth on the uh, PS5 Pro's uh, showcase the other day, and it looks the same as it was on the on the on the main PS5. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alright, so at least we made some progress in tonight's episode, because I literally thought we was going to be in that Queen's Blood shit for like, for another hour in this video. Trying to beat either, um, Regina or Red 13, but, um, I'm glad we got that out of the way now, because good lord. Because <laughs> as I mentioned, I'm about to go fix me a hamburger, and then get some rest. So, next time let's play Final Fantasy 7 uh, Rebirth, we're going to explore the, uh, Coastal de Sol. As we start our chapter 6 and then we're gonna see what's in store for us so until next time everyone Celtics A4 2 out